Greetings, guitar engineers. I'm Desi Serna. And in this free guitar lesson, I have another installment of How Does This Song Work, featuring the song Twilight Zone by Golden Earring. I will go over the main sections to this song, and you will get to know the keys and the chords and the progressions and the scales and the modes that are used in the music. If you want to learn how this song is actually played, you can use the information that I provide here, along with the tablature, which you can find online. To get my sound for this song, I'm using a Telecaster-style guitar made by Bluesman Vintage Guitars here in Spring Hill, Tennessee. They call this model the Coupe. That's Coupe as in two-door car. For my amp, I'm using the Kemper Profiling Amplifier and a Fender Tweed Deluxe Profile from Tone Junkie. All right, let's dive in. Twilight Zone begins with a guitar riff in B minor that makes use of a root, minor third, and fourth right out of the B minor scale. This riff is then worked into the next chord, E minor. For the next chord, F sharp minor, you play a slightly different version of the riff that's transposed to F sharp. I like to play this part by fretting the F sharp and the sixth string with my thumb. All right, so all together with the music, the intro sounds like this. If you find this riff too difficult to play, you can simplify it by leaving some notes out and slowing it down like this. All right, so the chords in use here are B minor, E minor, F sharp minor, and they all fit into the B minor scale. Now, B minor is relative to D major, so you might first think about the chords as coming out of the D major scale. B minor, E minor, and F sharp minor are chords six, two, and three in the D major scale. But since the music centers on B minor, it's best to think of the scale as starting on B. When you count B minor as one, then E minor is four, and F sharp minor is five. So the chords B minor, E minor, and F sharp minor make a one, four, five chord progression in a minor key. In minor keys, chords 1, 4, and 5 are all minor. You continue to use these same three minor chords in the song's verses. For a slight change midway through the verse, and in order to lead you into a repeat, you play a B minor sus4 chord. With this chord, the third of B minor, D, on the third string, is replaced with the fourth, E. Next in the chorus, you play a chord progression that follows a descending B minor scale and features a major five chord from harmonic minor. Now normally the F sharp chord is minor, but here you make use of the raised seventh from the B harmonic minor scale. 
This note changes the F sharp chord from minor to major and creates a strong dominant push back to your tonic chord B minor. After repeating all those chords in the chorus again, the chorus finishes like this. So the chords in use here are G and E minor, and then you return to B minor. The E minor chord is played with a kind of surprise syncopation on the AND of beat four. One, two, three, four, AND, one, two, three, four. When you return to B minor at this point, the lead guitar plays a very common pentatonic lick that alternates between a bend in the third string and a root and fifth double stop on strings two and one. During the interlude section before the guitar solo, you hear the riff from the beginning played in harmony with another part that's a couple steps ahead in the scale. When combined, the two parts sound like this. The guitar solo makes use of the B minor pentatonic scale, and it sounds like most of the solo is played using pattern one here in the seventh position. And a little later, the lead guitar shifts into the upper portion of pentatonic pattern two. You can look up the tab if you want to see specifically how the guitar solo is played. Or you can just simply improvise using B minor pentatonic scale patterns. The nice thing about this music is you really can't hit a bad note if you stick with the pentatonic. So that's how the song Twilight Zone by Golden Earring works. If you found this lesson helpful, click like and leave me some comments below. If you would like to learn more about music theory for guitar, or if you need help filling in gaps in your playing so you can play at this level, visit my website, guitarmusictheory.com. Answer the questions I ask you about your playing, and I'll send you free custom video instruction calibrated to your current level. Go to guitarmusictheory.com. You can click on the link in the video description. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Desi Serna. Before you go, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell icon to receive alerts when new videos are uploaded. Then keep playing and stay tuned for more.